What's up everyone? John from Beyond ARTV. It's time for another episode of 7 on Sunday. We're back stronger than ever after a week off. I wanted to regroup, get some new ideas, and just take a week to chill and not have to upload something on a Sunday and create a video the night before. That's what I would have had to do and that just didn't work out last week. Anyways, stay tuned because we gotta buckle in for a hard topic today. It's lyrical problems, lyrical nightmares, not exactly the most positive lyrics that we're taking a look at today. And these aren't gonna be necessarily specific lines from specific songs, but more so general problems that I see with lyrics in music these days. And they bring down the enjoyment because they just lack originality and there's so many of these problems that you're gonna see and you're gonna be like, ah, oh, yeah, I hate it. I hear that all the time. Why can't they think of something new to do? So these are seven trends and lyrical cliches that need to be stopped. Seven that I absolutely hate. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What do you hate in modern lyrics or just lyrics in general? What do you hate that you just can't even take listening to the songs? And be sure to leave a like on the video. Let me know suggestions for future episodes of Seven on Sunday. And other than that, here is my very first point. Oh, this is one of those where I feel like if I had a dollar for every single time that I had heard this, not in just like the same songs or in passing, but just every individual song that I had heard that used the metaphor of comparing love to a drug or being like some sort of addicting substance, then I would it probably, I don't know, I would have a lot of money. I would not be a millionaire. I'm not going to go and exaggerate that far. But seriously, can we please stop this? Can we please stop just comparing love to drugs and saying, Oh girl, yeah, I saw you in the club and you're euphoric like a needle in my arm. Wow, that, sound, that got really dark really fast. Maybe not that extreme, but uh, you know what I mean. Guys out here singing about smiles being like a drug and girls singing about, oh, his... His radiant body is shining like the white cocaine that I started last night. I'm going really extreme with this, but do you know what I'm talking about? I'm going to try and find samples to play in like the little sections that go in between. And I realize that this video might seem a bit unfocused, but seriously, this whole trend right here just drives me absolutely insane. I think Kesha was the first time that I noticed it, and I didn't really have a problem with that, and I still really don't, Your Love Is My Drug, but that one is the one that just kind of beat it into the ground. It was like an entire song about it, and now every time I hear it, I'm just like, this it's ruined for me, and please just find a different way to sing about your love being fantastic and you love spending time with them. Spread the rest on new chain. Yeah. My bitch love do cocaine, ooh. ooh. I fuck a bitch, I forgot a name. Yeah. I can't buy me no way to rain. Ooh. Rather go and buy ball mains. <laughs> Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Oh god, how I hate ad-libs and the stupid sound effects used in rap music. You know what I'm talking about, like, hopped out the Rari, skirt, and that whole thing, or like a brah, muttered all these little random sound effects at the end of like every damn line. Just listen to Amigos song, for example, and literally every single line has the fucking thing at the end of it, and it's just like, shut the fuck up for 10 seconds. I want to just hear you rap, and rap didn't have this like five, 10 years ago. It's this whole trap movement and suddenly just sound effects, noises and everything like that have taken the place of beats and any lyrical substance that might've been there before. I mean, even in the club bangers back in the day, we didn't have to put up with this annoying shit, but now I have to deal with Travis Scott yelling, it's lit at the back of like all of these songs. And I'm just like, can we stop for like 10 seconds, please? Can you just give me a couple bars off because I can't handle this anymore. Another trend in songwriting is this constant sense of now, like, oh, it's gotta happen tonight, or we gotta pull it off right now, and let's do this, and just travel, we have to pick up and go, because the urgency is here. And 
That's another sense of songs where it's like, yeah, there's always going to be a border between what reality is and what's happening in this world of the songwriter. But seriously, everything in music, especially like pop music these days, it's always this now. You're going to love me now or never. You're going to do this right now. We're going to go out tonight. We have to. It has to be tonight. It has to be Right now, it has to be this current state. We have to do this thing. And I'm just like, I, I, you know what? I, I, maybe I want the night off. Maybe I don't want to go out tonight. Maybe I want to go out tomorrow night. Maybe I don't want to hang out with you and I want to hang out with Bob instead. So many like me walk on eggshells all day long. All I know is it all I want is to feel like I'm not stepped on. There are so many things you say that make me feel you cross the line. What goes up will surely fall and I'm counting down the time. The first time I ever remember hearing this whole eggshells and broken glass metaphor was with Linkin Park back in the day. And, you know, there's too many standoffs with you. It's about as much as I can stand, so I'm waiting until the upper hand is mine. It was on Meteora. And I like the song in question, Hit the Floor, but they're talking about how they're walking on eggshells all day long and all you want to feel is like you're not stepped on. Great, we've covered, covered that subject, you know, that's been done before, so let's move on to something else, right? No, shattered glass and eggshells are still just all over the place, and every time somebody's like, oh, it's fragile, and I'm feeling fragile, what is a comparison I can make? It's always the go-to. It's like, oh, you shatter me like glass, girl, or wow, my, my heart shattered like eggshells. <laughs> You know, I don't actually think I've heard that last one, so I'm sure somebody's gonna just scoop that up and run with it. But in all seriousness, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, is the whole metaphor of just, you know, like tiptoeing around, like you feel like you can't talk to somebody, so their natural go-to is like, oh, I'm dancing on eggshells, or I'm dancing on glass, trying to figure out what you want me to do. And I just, once again, I, I think there has to be something else out there that you could make a comparison to. Where my head is, where my head is. You know what the number one way to make somebody know that you care is? Is to sound off constantly on the haters. The haters, the haters, the haters. The haters made me famous. The haters love me. The haters love to go after me. Constantly talking about how much you don't give a fuck about your haters is proving how much of a fuck you give. America's most beloved rapper, Froggy Fresh, aka Krispy Kreme, put the nail in the coffin of haters long ago. He said, all the haters want to be me. The only problem is they can't even see me. Said everybody wants to be me. The only problem is they can't even see me. Ball so hard, record labels want to sign me. Life is a race and everybody's behind me. For me right there, I was like, okay, that's the only song I need about haters. But now it seems like every rapper and even all these singers now are just talking about the haters. Oh, there's always going to be haters and we're just going to shake, shake, shake it off. You know how it is. The haters going to hate, hate, hate. Taylor Swift once again popularized that whole trend. So now everybody's singing about their haters and that only just stokes the fire for the haters and I think most of the time the best way to respond is to not respond but we live in this drama filled environment where everybody's just gonna keep firing off on their haters and talking about how they don't give a fuck about them even though they totally 100% do because sometimes without the haters they're nothing aka rice gum I'm looking at you I'm facing the bottle. These Instagram models are nothing but trouble. I hate it when lyrics just automatically date themselves. You know what I'm talking about with music videos, how they do it, that's one thing. They're like showing themselves on a flip phone. It was like a 2010 music video. I remember watching the video for Telephone by Lady Gaga and she's using like this virgin mobile thing and it's like a slide out keyboard. Going back, watching that now, it looks pretty bad, but you can still listen to the song and it doesn't really affect it even though she's talking about a telephone. She's not singing like, call if you want and you're not gonna catch me because I'm on my virgin mobile slide slide out keyboard phone, you can text me with your keyboard girl. No, it's not like that. It's these songs that I have a problem with whenever they come in and they're like automatically like Drake. I'm gonna call your ass an Uber. Like in 10 years from now, who knows if Uber will even be a thing. And who knows if all these other things will be as well. And people talking and rapping about like uh, up on the gram and double tapping photos and stuff like that. And it's just like in five years, 
we're going to be on to something else more than likely. Maybe not, but more often than not, it does happen, especially in just how fast we evolve as a society. So these songs that talked about MySpace back in the day, yeah, I uh, hate to break it to you, but nobody's listening to those now more than likely. And these ones that just talk about very specific mundane things like Facebook and Instagram and mention them specifically by name, those are the ones that I can't stand because why would you date yourself? Why would you paint yourself into this box? Oh, I know why, because people don't care about quality anymore. It's just all about pumping it out for the quantity and just talk about what you see around you. And you see Instagram in front of you on your phone every day, so I guess you're just gonna write about it. My final one today is the ones that aren't even really lyrics. The ooh ah uh, ah, uh, na 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 na, ooh yeah, ooh yeah, ooh ah uh, ah uh, uh, sound effects and stuff like that. Not like before, but just the cop out ones where they just instead of like actually singing something, Blink 182 are so guilty of this and it pisses me off sometimes because it's okay in a few songs here and there, but whenever your band so prominently uses like na 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 or what uh 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 oh uh oh, what uh 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 oh, or even singer songwriters, they do that. That. It's a cop out. It's not a lyric. It's just a sound. It's not actually like doing anything and it's not progressing the song whatsoever. And I feel like it's just underwriting a song. It's so lazy and I hate to see it, especially like so prominently on bands that I love, like Blink 182. And it's not as huge of a problem as it used to be, but I still wanted to put it on this list. What are some of the biggest hangups that you have with lyrics in modern music? Or maybe something that you saw in the past that we kind of got through? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit the like button while you're here. And if you're able to, please support me on Patreon. It's that top link in the description down below. My new podcast is on Patreon only. So if you're able to support, $5 a month unlocks the podcast. You can get to it by that annotation in the corner or else the top link down below, like I already said. You can see a couple of recent episodes right here. Other than that, all my socials in the description, and I'll see you soon on Beyond ARTV.